Today, the North Carolina Senate passed a bipartisan state budget that would go into effect July 1st. The second vote is expected tomorrow before going back to the House. WNCT's Brandon Truitt has been working on a breakdown of the budget. He joins us now to explain. Brandon. Ken, the Senate voted through the $23 million budget after its second reading. Some of the highlights include increased teacher pay and money for school infrastructure. North Carolina's new budget will give teachers an average 3.3% increase in pay next year and an average of 9.6% increase over the next two years. Laura Piner is a high school world history teacher with Pitt County Schools. How I look at my job is to prepare citizens to be productive members of society. She says money isn't why she got into teaching, but has had an impact on her life. She now works a separate job. That's really the only way to exist. State Republicans say this is a budget that meets the request of Governor Roy Cooper, but Cooper thinks otherwise. I think it may be the most fiscally irresponsible budget I've ever seen. Governor Cooper suggests the budget isn't what Republicans are sizing it up to be. The wealthy win, but the average middle class family loses, education loses, economic development loses, People struggling with opioid abuse lose. The budget will put $10 million towards fighting opioid abuse, but North Carolina Democrats say that's just a start. It will also use $100 million from the education lottery for rural schools construction projects. As for teachers pay, Piner says she's thinking about the future of education in North Carolina. It's not going to be enough to recruit the best and the brightest into our classrooms. The budget still needs to be passed by the House in order to go into full effect. It's unknown if Governor Cooper will veto the budget if it's passed by the General Assembly. Brandon Truitt, not on your side. Brandon, thanks.